We have $46,000 in the bank, and all of our fields are completely planted in canola. We're going to be harvesting them in just a moment as the sun rises behind our barn. It is currently day, what, four or five? I think we're on day number four right now, and we, of course, have a lot to do. Today is a big day because we're going to be changing our strategy. So we have all of our fields currently planted in canola, which sells for around the high of 733 and the low of 511. Now, a lot of people have asked why I chose to plant canola, and that's primarily because of the time frame that we started our game in. But I do want to transition to a more valuable crop, soybeans, which we need to plant in the early part of the year, March and April right now, but our fields are currently completely covered in crop. The soybeans, however, should make us upwards of $1,300 and at the low end around $500. Looks like all of our fields need one more layer of fertilization, so we're just going to go down here to the store to buy a fertilizer spreader. And I think we're going to go with the cheapest one, the Amazon. So 25 grand down the drain, we're now at $21,000, but this time we actually own the fertilizer spreader. Unfortunately, we still don't own the tractor that it's attached to. And if we can earn enough, we'll be trying to buy one of those. You guys have been commenting down below how your $1 billion journey has been going. A lot of you had some really good ideas, and I'm going to do my best to continue to implement those in the series as we move forward. Now, I know I came back up here without any fertilizer, but I'm hoping I have some. I thought I did. Okay, I don't know how far it's going to go, but we've got about 700 almost 700 liters of fertilizer in here we can at least go a little ways you know i'm actually going to start with these two the really nice thing about this fertilizer spreader is i can line myself up in our current fields just right down the middle and it'll actually reach the full size of this field in one pass here you go i love it this is why i wanted to buy this i knew it would be really efficient for us and just a really good way for us to fertilize our little fields here even when we get to big fields it's going to save us a lot of time i am noticing that the hired workers are kind of refusing to work near our two uh, solar panels there. I probably will just go ahead and formalize that by removing the uh, little part of the field there, just making it grass. So we got these two fields now completely fertilized, more or less. We've got two more, 48 and 44. As long as we get the fertilizing done and we keep watching the weeds here to make sure those aren't getting too bad, we'll be able to speed right over to harvest pretty quick. Once we get all of this harvested, we are going to just leave it dormant through the winter and we'll plant it again in the spring. But this time, soybeans. All right, that field has been all fertilized. We can now put this away. We're down to 334 liters in there. So we probably are going to want to pick up some more at some point. But for now, we'll be fine. Checking our weed status. Weeds are not bad at all. We are going to have to take care of stones at some point, unfortunately, though. And I still messed up rolling. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out one of these years. Well, it is August 6, 11 in the morning. Our fields are all ready to be harvested. Canola is looking fantastic. Okay. And we are going to get started right away today. We've got $60,000 in the bank that we've made from our two solar panels down on the edge of the farm. And I think they cost, what, like $93,000 some dollars a piece. So we still don't even have enough to buy one. And even if I wanted to, I really need to buy a tractor because that tractor over there is nickel and diamond us. But regardless, let's get started right away with our work. I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker to just harvest so I can get this tractor going on our carts. So while the worker is out there going, we're going to pull over to the other barn where inside we have stashed our large cart. Now we had two of them connected together and we ended up changing them out for this bigger one because it came up on sale and it was a fantastic deal for us. So surely this combine is going to be able to go for a little while before he needs this. So we are going to figure out how to handle our field. I could rip it up, but I probably should just leave it set until the springtime and maybe then we'll plant. I mean, it depends how we can plant. Our weeder, it can do canola and oilseed radish and grass. Yep. Okay, so that's not going to cut it. Unfortunately, we're going to have to buy a different planter of some sort, and these can get rather expensive. Now, I'm thinking $89,000 right here might be the best one to go. About 180 horsepower, but... <sighs> It's a lot of money. I think what we're going to do is finish our harvest here, use the funds that we can get off of this to purchase our next planter, but we'll purchase that come springtime. We don't need to have it right now. We can't even use it. So I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm going to just let it sit as it is. I'm going to keep our weeder as well because we can use it to plant if we want to plant canola still or any other crop, and we can use it to weed, of course, all of our fields. But Mr. Combine has finished the very first field to get the 
second half down there yet to do. But I'm going to pull right up here alongside, get dumped, and then we will move on to the next couple fields. And we've got our trailer a little bit full. We're going to mosey on over to the other field, and uh, you know what? I'll harvest this one myself a little bit. Save us a little money, and now that I know my plan moving forward, I don't need to, you know, sit in the menu thinking that through anymore. This little harvester for $75,000 has been a fantastic starting combine for our farm. It's most definitely a small combine, but our fields are ridiculously small too, so it's not the end of the world, really. I am not so sure how our yield is doing out here. I think we probably could be doing a little better. The rocks probably don't help. The fact that we didn't get it rolled properly probably doesn't help, but we'll see what we can get out of it here. We're just about to 50% full on the combine. Let me look. Yep, that's going in just fine. That's not it's, it is so cool looking. Looks like a bunch of little blueberries. Oh, that's what I need. Farm sim. Let me harvest blueberries and stuff, dude. There are so many cool crops we could be harvesting. I mean, honestly, I really look forward to the day that we have a lot of that stuff. I wish we had it now, but, you know, I guess all we can do is hope for it in the future. And let's also hope in the future that all vehicles let you use the passenger script. I'm sorry. I just gotta be honest. It's not a Kubota exclusive thing. Just gonna put that out there. All right, we made it back here to our final field. I think this is... Or did I do that one? I don't think I did our little one. Just switched it up. We're going to do our biggest field second to last. At least I won't have to come out here in a hurry like, oh my gosh, it's almost nighttime and I'm not done yet. Whatever will I do? In fact, I could probably let time move forward a lot more here. What are we doing? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not know that our neighbor planted this. Last time I remember coming out here, he had nothing in that field. What has he got out here? Is that wheat? Oh, it's oats. Oh. It is my goal that by the end of this video, we're going to hit $100,000. I want us to at least be like that very, very, very small percentage of the way there. You know, let's at least have a hundred grand. <laughs> and if you want at least a hundred grand in your bank account, then hit the like button and subscribe. Because honestly, so do I. We, we relate on that. I also want that. We are going to be full, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to start the worker. Oh. The engine was running. Uh-oh, that's costing us unnecessary money. All right, let's sneak this Rudolph. Oh, man. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. I'm recording this the day after Christmas. All right, our hired worker ended up getting full like 10 feet away from where we hired him, but that's okay. They got their pipe out and just slide right on underneath and take their load. Okay, we are full. Hired worker is going to continue rolling. I'm just going to get my cell phone out of their way here. We got almost half full on this trailer. Park it right here should be fine. Taking a look in the store, we've got a couple interesting things for sale. I don't have grass I really want to bale or anything right now, but for $12,000, that is a good price. And for $17,000, this is a pretty decent price as well. So originally $35,000, it's a brand new disc harrow. That's a good deal. And I am very tempted, but it's not really what we need to spend our money on. But while we're on the topic of spending money, let's see what are some other things. So like I said, these are $93,500 a piece. We don't have the money to get one. We could get some other little generators, but the return on investment just is not really there. Now, a greenhouse on the other hand would probably be a great idea and i wouldn't mind having this by the house a little so why don't i just throw that greenhouse down right here did not cost us too much five thousand dollars i mean that's what we spend every single time we lease our tractor now we can get this thing rolling open up the door step inside we can do tomatoes lettuce and strawberries here but i don't have the mod that lets this thing fill with water automatically it means we're gonna have to do it which sucks but it's not absolutely Absolutely the end of the world. We just need a little trailer, which we can buy for about $3,000. And now for $8,000, we have a new source of income on the farm, the greenhouses. We'll see how much they end up making us. But our input on those greenhouses is not bad at all. All we need to do is fill them with water. So I am sure that we're going to make some money off of that, and it'll be a worthy investment. In fact, we have enough money, we could continue to invest in more things like that. And it probably is not a bad idea to get more passive income coming every single month. But right now, like I said, I want to focus on buying a tractor and a planter. So we're going to keep rolling with things as we've planned. All right, I pulled back into the farm, but I got to find a source of water. 
I could try to install a hydrant, but I don't know how much that'll cost. I could also drive around and hope I can find a water source. The little creek right there seems to be dried up. What about the one it rolls in? No, even the big creek is dried up. Okay, this might be more of a challenge than I originally thought. And meanwhile, there's a deer in the road. Oh gosh, deer on deer crime. And our combine is yelling at me that he's 80% full, so I need to get back over there. There is seriously no water down around these parts? Nowhere. Okay, well, it's clear I'm gonna have to install a place to get water because there is no way at all I'm driving around the map 10 years to Sunday looking for some water to put in a greenhouse. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna install something back at the yard. But now, as nighttime drops upon us, I gotta sneak over there to the combine because he is almost full and we don't want him. Well, there he is. He stopped. Dang it. We're backing up to our trailer now. Hopefully I can get over there to him. He's still rolling a little bit. I thought he'd stopped, but he was just turning around. We're speeding through time. We're going to be able to get this all harvested. If we take a look, we've only got that little corner and then of course 44 left to go. And oh my goodness, wait, no, actually, wait, 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 oh my god, I let, oh no. I thought we had another month. Oh my goodness, I just withered our crop. I just withered our crop. I thought we had another month. I just withered a whole field and a corner. A whole field and a corner. I mean, I don't really care about the corner, but the whole field though, it definitely did hurt. That was at least $700, $800 in that field. Well, you know, sometimes I'm an idiot and uh, this is definitely one of those times, but let's go ahead and unload. Last little bit of canola that we did get. Luckily we got, I'd say 90% of it. Easy. Well, I guess we're just going to call it there. No longer harvesting. Might as well speed the time up. Don't need to worry about withering anything anymore. Already done did that. Skadoodle skadaddle back up to the farm, I guess. I really should be getting the greenhouse going so we can earn money as we're speeding through time, but we'll get there. One task at a time. We got 13,000 liters in this trailer. And last harvest season, I don't remember exactly what we got, but I want to say it was probably more like 18, maybe 15. So we are a little bit low. Of course, I might be off in my estimate. So either way, we're going to store this in the barn for the winter until November. Well, so, you know, not very long. <laughs> And our field's got some weeds growing up in them, but that's actually just fine through the winter. In fact, let these weeds grow because they'll grow up, die off, and then they'll just be nutrients for the ground. So I'm not going to complain about it. We got to come back out here and pick our water trailer up and get those greenhouses going. So let's do that. I think we'll go ahead and set the greenhouses to just sell automatically every month. I know we can get better prices by selling it ourselves and waiting for the most optimal time, but I'd rather just it passively make us money. So taking a look at this, our water inlet is right there. And I think we have tools. Do we have tools or maybe a container? Water tank. Here we go. So this takes up a lot of space, but we could put a water tank in. Now, if I had mods, I could do the little hydrant mod. Those are really nice. I love that. It's like 150 bucks or maybe like $300. Way cheaper, way smaller, and you get the same functionality. You get access to water, but we can and will use this. No problem. It's going to leave room for our doors, of course. Drop that down. $3,000. And now we've got 8000 No, we've got 5000 plus 3000 plus another 3,000 there. So we've got like, what, 11 something thousand dollars invested into this greenhouse. Start filling our little trailer with water and then start unloading it as well at the same time. Okay, it unloads faster than it fills, noted. But we see that that was filling up our little deal. So we're gonna change these outputs to sell right away. And I'm gonna also go ahead and enable all of these as well. So we're going ahead and planting tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries with our little bit of water we've got flowing in here through our trailer. Now I know like a hose would be nice. Now they do have that pumps and hoses DLC, which would be a great use for the greenhouses. I've heard a lot of people say that that's kind of broken and I don't even think it works for the greenhouses. I think it's actually for like slurry, slurry and stuff, but I'm just saying it would have been nice to have, you know, for the greenhouses. Either way, we've got our tomatoes and strawberries and lettuce all planted in here. We've got a little middle door, of course, so we can get both sides. We've got doors down here on these ends as well. Really nice greenhouses. I want to get a greenhouse in real life. My grandma wants one, and I think it would also be kind of neat. Do you guys have any greenhouses in real life? Let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Sweet. Good news. We've got the greenhouse full of water. The trailer park there full of water. So all we got to do is back up and hook up to it to fill this area up again. That will work fantastic for me. I, oh, I'm not going to be able to close that. Okay. The doors can stay open. 
fine by me. September, you know, winter's coming up. Oh yeah, I'm sure that that's not gonna be a problem. Keeping my eye on the price of canola here because we are gonna be coming up on our highs. Highs 733 here in November, what it claims. It's September right now. And I'm seeing prices actually, yeah, they're in the 600s mainly. This one, you have to do the train, so it costs you some money. But for right now, I'm just gonna park up this tractor. We're gonna wait a couple months through and uh, then we're gonna sell our crop and get to our next planting cycle. A semi-successful year three so far. Just a small little failure over here, but hopefully we can kind of counteract that with our investment in our greenhouse. Good morning, everybody. It is now seven in the morning. Our greenhouses have been doing well so far through the last couple months. I've been watching them. We're up to $64,000. We don't need to fill this. We've used, well, maybe, I don't know, just over a thousand liters of water. Really not much. And it is time for us to sell the canola that we have harvested. So I'm going to fire up the John Deere that we have on lease. Hopefully we'll be able to buy this. I doubt we'll be able to get that much money from this harvest, which is unfortunate, unless we check the sales and see there's not anything we can currently purchase. Right now we're seeing canola kind of max, well, 717, but it says it's on the rise still. So you know what? I want to ride this a little bit on the time. I'm going to do my darnest to get the high this time, boys. Okay, we're rolling up three o'clock. Here we go. Check 835 still on the up. All right, quick breather, quick breather. Everyone take a break, relax, knock over your water. I'm going to drive to Goldcrest or at least to the train, which I think I have. Yes, I have one right down here. Cool. I'm going to drive down there. That way I am ready to sell right away instead of me having to hoof my way down there after seeing the price is right. Okay, so there's a nice little parking spot right here. I'm just going to sit at. We're going to speed time back up. Four o'clock now coming up. Now remember, we were at a high 837 at four o'clock, 838 now. Five, 840. Oh, 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 we maxed. We maxed 840. Slow her down, boys. We're on a train. We're selling at 840 per thousand. Did I rent this train? Train! Jaga, jaga, jaga. Where is train? Do I ha did I buy, did I order a train? Hello. I'm waiting for my same day delivery. I ordered a train off of Amazon. Train! 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 Train, train, train. Oh, I see my train. Be a good boy and stop, will ya? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ooh, <gasps> okay. Woo. We were just like a couple feet away from dying. Hello, Mr. Train. I have a question. How am I supposed to put the grain in you? Oh, I hate to be that guy up there waiting on me in this train. I've never driven a train before. Well, hell, that's a lie. I've driven a train. Um, I promise. I promise I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I need to choose which silk point is closer to me. Is it that one or is it... Oh my goodness. I'm like right in the middle of the two of them, ain't I? Could either go there... Or I could go... I'm literally, like, in the middle of them. But if I go backwards, I don't gotta go through a river. So I'm gonna back up and go to this other one? I don't know why I can even rent a train here. Oh, I bet you I could put an auger down there. And I bet you I could just auger into this thing myself. That's not a bad idea. That'd save us time in the future. We're definitely gonna do that. Slow, 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 slow. Wait, wait, I don't understand what my brakes are. Stop! Please! No, stop! Please! Please! I don't want to accidentally go and send you to the other realm without any crop in there. That'll cost me money. Who knew trains needed a long ways to slow down? Not me. I'm gonna call that the spot right there. And now we're gonna do something potentially sketchy, but hey, at least I know where the train is, so we should be okay. I'm just gonna follow the tracks down that way for a little ways. I mean, what else am I gonna do, you know? Hey, fun fact, the train was not stopping traffic at all. It was in a completely different line. Oh, well, so that was dangerous the whole time then, huh? Surely this is the right spot. If this is not the right spot, I'm gonna be the maddest man. The biggest of mad. I'll tell you. We're gonna watch Rudolph dump. There we go. Woo! Good job, buddy! We're not getting money, and that means this is the right spot. So all the canola dropped in there. I'm gonna shut the tractor off, tab over to here, and we should be able to now fill up with our 13,000 liters of canola. And our train is gonna say, brother, that's 11%. Are you seriously gonna send me with that? And I'm gonna say... Yes, yes I am. Off to the land of more money, you go. And just to be clear, the land of more money is, okay, good, it is that way. Woo! 
Okay. So this is pretty neat. You actually get to drive the train, which obviously you definitely don't get to do in real life. But, they, you know, I'm glad that they let us do this. Oh, by the way, some of you have suggested that we do field flipping, which, oh man, I wanted to honk my horn there. Sorry. Which field flipping is a great idea. It's a method that we have used in a different series. It was pro versus noob, and I actually had a lot of fun with that. We played it with my editor, Gilbert, and uh, I personally wouldn't mind doing more stuff like that. I had fun playing with Gilbert. I thought it was great, but yeah. Let me know what you think down below. If I'm going straight, why do I want to go through here? Okay, we're just going to fly through here. Scare everybody. Honk, honk. Look at me. And yes, I went to sell. So we got $11,000. Train went to sell to Goldcrest. And now I have a very long drive back home. But that means I can just speed time forward. So let's drive home. Our next goal is going to be planting soybeans in the spring. It is now March year number four. We have $85,000. I originally thought it was going to take over six years to get a billion. Um... <laughs> It might take us six to get a hundred thousand. <laughs> We've got our greenhouses working away. In fact, it still has enough water in it to keep running. We sold our crop over the winter and it is time for us to get planting. We've got a lot of weeds and things out in our fields that we left barren. And it makes me think I should have probably bought that disc ripper for $17,000. I'm a little upset because now it's not for sale anymore. And now I could buy it for way more. I don't really want to do that. Oh man, I messed up, y'all. I should have bought that thing. I do think we're going to get rid of the weeder. I don't think we need it. And if we don't need it, I might as well get what little money I have into it out of it. We bought it for like 18 and we're selling it for 11 too. I'm not going to complain. We're 3000 away from meeting our $100,000 goal. Oh, man. We could almost buy a tractor right now. Hold on. We might be able to buy a tractor, actually. I'm going to get rid of this weight. It's uh, about $1,100. We've got $99,000 right now. Okay. With $99,000. Oh, I need $500. Well, it is what it is. We could probably just buy our planter. But I do need to go get those weeds out of the field somehow. Which means I should probably rip it all up. If I buy this planter, I'm going to use pretty much all of my budget. But we'll at least have it. And I know we still don't have a tractor. But I'll call this a step forward. Let's go ahead and... Well, let me see what it costs to lease. Okay, that's a lot to lease it too. I'm gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it. We have $9,500 left and now we need to get down to the store to pick up our new planter. We also are gonna need to get something to rip up the land a little bit. I'm gonna have to find that within $9,500. Good. Okay. What is the lease on you? Only $1,700? That's not that bad. I wouldn't be surprised if we need to get more seed and we can also fertilize with this planter which will be nice. The problem is, is we're kind of running out of money. Our quest for a billion is, we're struggling, man. Seems like everybody else is out here making money but us. But you gotta keep in mind the way farming simulator works, or at least the way it works on modded. To buy this land, I used cash I actually had. So we're not, you know, paying a monthly loan on this land, which yes, that makes it a lot harder for us, but it also means this land is paid for and we're increasing the value of it. The only thing that it costs us is the taxes or the, you know, the property uh, expenses, whatever they call them in the finance tab here. Uh, product, no, property maintenance, there it is. So take a look at this. Some of, the, some of the stuff in the financing tab is kind of interesting. Like our production is costing us $4 a month, which is our greenhouse, but it's also making us around $300 a month, which is fantastic. And we can see that our vehicle leasing cost is just eating away at our pocketbooks. We really need to get this planter, I don't know, sold or something. But to start, I'm gonna see if I can no-till some of our ground here. Now, we might have to rip up what was canola right there, but I wanna try this first. I don't know if we can no-till with this planter. I don't know if it'll work well or not, but I don't have much money, so I'm gonna try it because any chance I can to save a little on my input is what I'm gonna have to do right now. It might dock us a bit on our yield, but I just, I gotta save some money somewhere right now. Now we don't have any fertilizer in which we really should have fertilizer in. In fact, let me dump the fertilizer out. Oh my goodness, I dropped our new planter. Let me dump our fertilizer out of our fertilizer spreader right back there in the barn so that I can you aw, it probably put it over there. That's rude. Well, either way, I'm gonna use that little bit of fertilizer when we're planting. I don't think much was in here, but if it can at least get us by a little ways, that's good for me. This fruit needs to be plant, cannot be planted in March. Well, I suppose that's true. It would be 
a little early to plant our soybeans. Next month is when we need to plant. I was just hoping we'd be able to get right into it. I mean, I thought it was maybe warm enough. So I'm not gonna get to find out whether or not I can plant right away. Do I take out these? Do I rip this up? You know what? I'm not going to. I'm gonna speed time up. We're gonna see where things go. And maybe next month will be okay. But I just don't wanna rip this up if I don't have to. I don't know if my combine would let me come over here and try and harvest this just to clean it out. But I do have crop destruction on and though it might seem a little inefficient, I'm gonna see what this might do. <laughs> All right, you know what? Just ain't worth it. I'm gonna shut the tractor down. <laughs> March is almost done anyways. We'll be ready to plant next month. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day. April now, 5.30 in the morning. We just been sitting here watching our uh, greenhouse overnight. We've got about 12, almost $13,000 in the bank. Our fields are still barren, and today we're gonna finally get planting. So let's pull right on over here and find out what I wanted to find out yesterday. I wanted to see if this could plant straight into the field or if we needed to go get something and rip it all up first. We are lined up ready to go. We got fertilizer and seed in here. Ready to plant soybeans, gonna turn it on and see if we can actually do this. Looks like we can. We're still gonna have some mature weeds out here to deal with though. But I think it is gonna let me plant directly into the field. So that's good to know, but I'm still gonna have to take care of these weeds. I did have a weeder, but unfortunately I had to sell it. Well, I didn't have to, but I needed a little bit of money. So we probably won't buy another one. Instead, we're gonna maybe try spraying. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But for the first time ever in year four, we're now planting soybeans, switching our crop. We had started our farm with canola and it did well enough for us, but we were seeing a little bit of a struggle. Just couldn't quite get the growth we were looking for. And so we're hoping that these soybeans are gonna fix that problem for us now i should let you guys know i'm not using the precision farming dlc we're playing the game completely base game if i was using precision farming that would actually change quite a lot and hey if we ever make it successfully through this series and you want to see another one earning a billion dollars using precision farming as well then i guess we could always do that too now it definitely bothers me planting into this field with all of the weeds the part of me is like i don't know we could have an all organic natural crop, you know? Theoretically, I could charge really good for that, but the problem is, is it probably won't be a very good crop. I know this planter was very expensive, and it does take pretty high horsepower, 180, but I wanted to get it because we could plant at about 12 miles an hour, which is very fast, and we can also get 9 meters is the width of our planting space, which is what we had with our uh, weeder slash planter we were using, and I didn't want to downsize. In fact, it's going to take us less time than before to plant because we're the same size, but like twice as fast. I'm thinking about buying a plow and resizing this field just a little bit. I know it's perfect for that sprayer, but it doesn't work perfectly for this planter. We have to do that little back stretch, a little tiny plot. And I think we can maybe get a full another width out of her. I don't know. You know what else I don't know? If we can even plant this, I'm gonna try it, but I'm pushing our luck here, boys. I'm pushing our luck big time. Oh, I don't think this is gonna plant. Oh, you know what? Neither did the other fields. I just fertilized them. You see it? You see that? Literally the other fields, except for that tiny little part right down there in the bottom corner of 46. Yeah, they did not plant. Okay. Well, guess who has to go to the store and get a thingy to plow this up with? <laughs> Nothing for sale. I should have bought that thing. All right. $1,200 down the drain. We got to go pick up this cultivator. I'm going to have to rip up this land. Going to take care of the weeds. So at least I guess we solved that problem. But now we know that plant planter cannot direct plant. You know, I really didn't think it would, but I was really hoping I could push my luck and it would actually do it. It's fine. We'll just run down to the store and disc up this uh, land and then get back to planting again. Okay. Cultivator has been acquired. We didn't buy it. We leased it, but we can at least sneak back home and get things rolling on the farm. $12,000 is where we're at. Remember how I said I wanted to have $100,000? Whatever happened. Clearly things are going to according to plan. <laughs> and of course, we're ripping up the ground, showing up all the rocks that I forgot about and said that those are going to be a problem and that we're probably going to have to try and take care of them. And yet, here we are. They're still a problem. But once again, I don't really have the care or fortitude to want to take care of the rocks so they can just stay out here for another year. All right, y'all, we are going to keep rolling out here in the fields and get all of this ripped up. I will tune in back with you guys once it is time to get back to planting. 